What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here, and uh, first of all, sorry if you can hear the washing machine in the background. I can't do much about that. And I did just upgrade my OBS, uh, that's what I use to stream and record my videos with, to the 64-bit version. I don't know what that changed, um, so let me know in the comments if anything seems different about the video. I don't think anything should be different. Okay, but... Um... Nick Dean 16 passed me for number one, so you can guess what we're going to do in today's video. We are going to play some ranked, and look at, look at the top, um, really the, the top ranks right now. Nick Dean, uh, me, Donkey, Pew Q, like this is blast from the past, like uh, four people that have just really been battling out over the past like more than a year, and then um, that scroll Cantor also very uh, common players in the ladder so I've been showing you guys a lot a lot a lot of aggro growth and it's getting a little bit boring to play so what I'm gonna do is play decay everybody's been crying about decay I'm getting really pissed off at Mojang for just nerfing all of the case tools and um, it really is shown by like Dialex's meta reports and stuff like that that Decay is just not really being played in this meta because Decay is not very strong in this meta um, with so many nerfs like Bloodline Taint, um, subtle nerfs to Witch Doctor and uh, and Ilmer Hunter um, a subtle nerf to Lifestealer, that was really like a mystery nerf, I don't know why they nerfed him, he was fine. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to try it though today. Donkey74 is actually, I think, playing Decay. He's playing a more control -y variant with like, Returns to Nature's and Erodes, which definitely uh, works. Um, I'm going to just try a more old-fashioned Mono Decay type build, type build with the new Halls of Omlasa, and it does have... A lot of two two ofs, like only two Fester and Freak, only two Brain Lice, Lices, only two Damon Curse, two Fester's by one Erva, one Watcher, two Curse Presence. So um, I, do, I feel okay doing that because the Halls of Omasa will draw me back the scrolls I want. Um, so I think that's okay. And I really wanted to fit in all these different scrolls, so I had to take some sacrifices. And I guess I'll see how this works. I really like putting the Anima Conduits in here. Um, so this Modern Decay deck looks a little bit different than the ones of old, but it has the same idea. Build up creatures, control the board, and a watcher get in finish. So let's queue up for ranked, and I'll be back when a match is found. Alright, here we go. Found a match. Canter. Good luck, have fun, fellow Badger, fellow high ranked player. Not necessarily the person we want to face, but we have a pretty good starting hand, although we are going second. Because I can play the Elmire Trisman in turn 2, which is one of the best um, turn 2 plays in the game. And then a Soul Steel um, is one of the best value scrolls in the game. I can get rid of something he plays. Um, There's a very good hand against Growth, also with that Blight Bearer turn 4. Um, and he is Growth. And he didn't have a turn 1 better, so that's good for me. And I'm going to get rid of the... Early curse monger. I'm not gonna move him because for the off chance that there's nothing I can soul steal on turn three, I'd like to have a little dark and light I could play just in case, just get another body on the board. I'm also glad I got this infectious play. It does pretty well against growth. So Cantor's probably a little bit surprised I sacrificed for decay. And there is a Nognes, which is what I'm a bit afraid of. Those things are hard for me to get rid of. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of this damning curse um i'd rather probably face like a one countdown growth like a kind of aggro growth style variant than a like late game growth which it looks like cancer's playing more late game but he says nog nest but historically decay has just beaten all types of growth so we'll see how i do here with the with the introduction of things like earth and mirth and just more powerful creatures for growth um the matchup has in, hasn't been as much in Decay's favor, favor, 
But I think it's okay. So still nothing I can soul steal. Um, maybe I should just curse presence instead of loyal darkling. I'm gonna do that because that means next turn an infectious blight would just straight away kill the mystic and he wouldn't get a draw from it. So I'll get rid of the little darkling. Doesn't really do much for me. Um, I'd rather have it like when I have a witch doctor on the board to have some extra defense. And there we go. I'll just stay in the middle. So next turn I will almost definitely play an infectious blight. And I don't know what I'm gonna get rid of just yet. Yeah. So the curse presence gives gives the mystic curse three which means my infectious blight will destroy it and he goes for resources and he's likely to play yeah strong creature like fang there it's a little tough to deal with uh i'm going to get rid of the oh, i really don't want to get rid of soul steal versus growth but he just didn't play anything early on i could soul steal it's been a problem um, I really like both the Anima Conduit and the Blight Bear. I think I'm gonna get, have to get rid of the, the Soul Steel. Oh, but I can damage this guy in Soul Steel. All right, actually, we're gonna get rid of the Anima Conduit. I think I think a Blight Bear is gonna be uh, more important. It would almost kind of just stop him. All right, so now that's gonna die. And it did go on the bear, which I guess is pretty good, considering the bear is his biggest threat, and the infectious bite will eventually kill him. Um, yeah, so the reason I want to keep that soul steal is because whatever I kill this, whatever I damage this turn will likely become in soul steal range, and I don't think he's going to do something like a rally just to get rid of my Elmire tribesman. So this Elmire tribesman will probably get a, an attack off. Okay. I expect uh, games with decay to be a struggle. Okay, so puts this nog in front and a wetland ranger down in the bottom. All right. Now it would have been great to have another curse presence, but unfortunately I don't have one. I'm going to sacrifice all oh, rot years great against growth. I'm gonna sacrifice rot for scrolls um, and just hope for. I don't know. I don't mind just playing the Blight Bear this turn. Two Soul Steals. Okay. Let's get the Blight Bear down. I'm going to play it. I'm gonna play it way up here. I kind of I do want it to get attacks off and stuff like that. I definitely do want that. And now next turn, hopefully I top deck like a two drop that I can play with the soul steal. I'm probably gonna want to soul steal this nog. I already sacrificed a damage curse, and growth has a lot of strong creatures that are gonna be tough for me to deal with. Yeah, there's a great wolf. I'm not sure how this is gonna go. So there goes my tribesman. Um, Festering freak is something I like, but I'm kind of stuck here. I can only make one play. I'm not totally sure what I want to do. I'm going to. I don't know. Should I play the hall? I want to get the halls going. I'm going to get rid of one of the soul steals. And just play the festering freak. What I've noticed is festering freak really kind of scares growth players <laughs> they're so afraid to touch it and man that bear is gonna get another attack off i really wish i had another curse presence but only two in the deck i can't i can't really blame the draws well he had a one for that earthborn mystic okay and he moves down and he, he, he runs away that's that's i like that I am happy with that. And is he gonna is he gonna hit me? Looks like he is. Okay. Well, that means that my blood bear is gonna kill himself, and I'm going to start the halls. 
I'm going to go ahead and start the halls this turn. Yeah, it sounds good. Get rid of the Oblivion Seeker. Start the halls. I want a Witch Doctor soon where I can start playing other stuff. And his bear's attack does go down, which is nice. I really have to watch out for all the idle damage he does. And next turn I have a Soul Steal for that Brave. I have to see what I draw here. Um... So he's going to leave the middle idle then at one health. I mean, if he plays another wolf this turn. Like another great wolf would just suck up. There's another great wolf. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I only have one more damage curse in the deck. Uh, and I don't even know if it's possible for me to draw the damage curse from this. Yeah, but I think it just draws like your most recent creatures or something. Um, I'll take the Blight Bear just to play with the Soul Steel this turn. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to come back and win this game. I really don't know how. Uh, let's... I don't know, I'll put you here. He could just easily move up and beat me. Alright, of course the Infectious Blight goes on that already poisoned Nog. That, that's unfortunate for me. That sucks. I don't see... I don't think um, I'm really doing anything wrong this game. Just decay is just not that good. It used to be, it before like before waypoints, it was always able to contend as a top tier deck. Mono decay was just a force to be reckoned with. Um, but I don't know. It, it seems like mono decay just started to attract all the nerfs whereas growth it really doesn't get <laughs> growth's only big nerfs were like veteran to three health and crimson bull to three cost there weren't really other any other growth nerfs and that's why growth has just had a fun time on the ladder all right i mean i guess i'll come back i guess i do have a halls going i'm going to but he, he has five scrolls i have none he's taking down an idol ouch Ouch, 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 ouch. He's just gonna leave me alone down here. Which means I don't know how I'm supposed to lock this binding root. That's interesting. Very interesting. He plays a red wolf, which brings those guys to six. And then a brave. Oh my god. Okay. Oh boy. Let's see. Well, I'm, I'm getting soul steals. But I'm gonna have to sacrifice it. So, I don't know. I'll sacrifice Trizen for scrolls. Languid. I'm going to... But I might just lose here. I'm probably going to lose here. There's really not much I can do at this point. The decay is just slow right now, and... I just can't combat this. The Languid is not even going to help that much. I guess I have to defend my idols a little bit or else I'm just going to outright lose. I'll still seal. I guess that was good that it landed there. And I'll play the uh, Anima Conduit and hopefully I get a Revenant to survive. And now this has the Infectious Blight. Okay, let's draw a Damage Curse. I really... I really wish that Halls of Omasa didn't just draw your last few scrolls. It's, this card says, it just, I mean, the card implies that it's just three scrolls anywhere in your graveyard. Is that game? Yeah, I think that's game. I don't know, is it? Five, yes, yeah, game. Nope, it's not. Okay. Uh, do I want another one of those or another or soul steal? I mean, I, there's nothing I got soul steal on his side, so I guess not. I guess not. And this binder is going to make me kill the ragged wolf. Ugh. This is rough, guys. This is rough. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, 
I guess I could languid you. Necrogan, not gonna do much at this point. There's a witch doctor. Witch doctor could help. Let's play the Oblivion Seeker. And I'll get a witch doctor now next turn, probably. And my halls is going away. Draws an enchantment. Just a mangy wolf this turn would win the game or a rally. So are we gonna get a GG right here? At least Cantor is pretty highly rated, so I don't think we're gonna be losing too much rating. Okay. He's thinking about his turn. It really if I don't top to click a damning curse like right now, I'm just gonna lose. Even if I do top to a damning curse, I'm still gonna lose. Okay, so is it moving around and Ragged Wolf, Staghart, Vetter. Well, I kind of needed that to survive so I can put a, a Witch Doctor there. Hmm. Well, I think that's going to be game. I guess I have no choice other than... I can't afford to play another Halls of Almasa. I guess I have no other choice than to play a Witch Doctor with a Tribesman in front. He can still win with just like an Earthen Mirth and moving down this wolf. So, almost definitely going to be game. And if he, if he doesn't do that, he's going to be able to take out just my Witch Doctor with his two wolves. Alright. I'm getting growth, guys. Can't complain. I grow with other people all the time. And that's going to be game. So, GG. I, I guess I understand the mistake of playing Decay. Just playing Decay is a mistake right now in Scrolls because it is underpowered. And I just lost only 19. Not too bad. Oh, he rolls a lot. Nice job, Cancer. And that, I guess, will be it for today. I know that I'll go back to just growthing people on the ladder. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and keep on scrolling.